Okay, air element. Um, again, short video, a few interesting points, and then uh, some links below. Uh, now we know, most of us know, that the air on this planet is polluted, and especially over busy cities. You can see that at a distance. You can see the cloud of um, fumes in the air floating around. So you're breathing that junk all the time, obviously. And uh, you're not getting as much oxygen. Not only because there's congested cities where you're breathing gunk, but the oxygen level on the earth is much lower than it used to be, okay? Links below, okay? When you take a breath of air now, there's not near as much oxygen available in it as there was 40, 50, 100 years ago. Uh, a lot of that has to do with the fact that for some reason we seem to be clearing the whole damn planet for cows. Uh, jungles, countless medicinal plants erased, and uh, all that foliage is basically what makes our oxygen. And apparently we think that hamburgers are more important than life itself. Um, not myself and my family, we eat a vegan diet, but um, that's, that's a whole other issue. I don't want to get sidetracked here. The point is the oxygen levels are lower. Um, now, again, the four elements are your vitality for life, okay? So you already have less in the air element. There's just plain less oxygen for you. Um, we could reverse all this on the planet, you know. Um, I don't know how bad it's going to get before we have to or else, but what we're doing is very unwise. It's very unconscious. Uh, a little bit of science, a little bit of Western science, uh, for those interested, um, it's, it's a fact, it's proven, it's, it's common knowledge, it, well in some circles, that a cell in your body that is alkaline and has plenty of oxygen cannot become cancerous, okay? So the rampant cancer rates rising everywhere, um, one of the factors, and there's many, but one of the significant factors contributing to that, at least at the physical level, I'm not talking about emotional trauma and other things that are other videos, and you know, just as important at least, but at the physical level, guys, <laughs> we're working with less oxygen. Now, I don't need to be all doomsday. I'm not telling you to buy a spacesuit. This is just something to be aware of and research. This is the kind of thing that needs to be common knowledge and education, so we have generations of people coming up looking to fix what's needed. Because again, if we think we're going to just keep moving forward wherever we're going while continuing to distance ourselves further and further from our actual physical lifelines, we are not going to get where we're going, okay? Now, another interesting thing um, about the air element. Okay, how many um, amazing practices have existed on this planet throughout time involving breathing exercises, okay? And uh, some may involve physical movement too. I think maybe yoga involves breathing exercises. It probably should. I'm not an expert on that, but we all know there's been a lot of different practices, some of them more practical, some of them more mystical, involving breathing exercises. And, and I've heard every kind of story of the benefits from this. Um, now, I haven't followed a lot of these, dif well, I haven't followed any of these different uh, ancient or modern breathing practice type activities. I do like to get an oxygen high, that's what I call it. I take a bunch of deep breaths and I get so high I don't even know if I'm coming back into my body. Now, that's not good if you're operating heavy machinery, and I'm not saying to hyperventilate and pass out. I'm just pointing out the fact that simply by bringing a higher amount of oxygen into my body really quickly, I get an amazing high. And it makes me think, what would life feel like? What would I feel like all the time if we had a healthy amount of oxygen in our atmosphere still? 
So anyway, more food for thought. But again, as with the other four elements, if you get a boost of it, all of a sudden you feel better, okay? That's wellness, that's well-being, that's um, you being lifted up. That's, um, well, in new age terms, that's a higher vibration, okay? Uh, there are practices where people breathe deeply and have all kinds of mystical experiences, and I, I'm sure there's a lot of truth to some of that. Um, I've had some rather interesting experiences just breathing deeply, but like I say, I've never followed any uh, specific practice. Maybe if you do and you know some things about that, you might like to post about it here and share and enlighten us. But anyway, it's apparent, uh, as usual, with these four element videos, that this is one of the legs of the table. It's essential to your vitality and well-being and capacity as a human, as a person, to have this experience. So, um, the point is, we should have a healthy, functional relationship with each of these four elements. And each of us should be aware of this. Each of us should be conscious about how we interact with them and why. And not let ourselves be deceived by misconceptions in the world. Because these things were always there. These things are essential. And all the, well, the man-made stuff isn't, again. So, like I say, I, I'm not telling anyone to quit your job and just get a robe and go wander around in the woods. That's not what this is about. This is about the fact that whatever we're headed towards and whatever we would choose to aspire to as humans, we are still going to need the four elements to do it. And we have damaged our relationship with these things. We have twisted and polluted the elements. And we're paying the price all over and the price is getting higher. And I don't... I don't think enough of us are making the connection to things that are really this simple. Uh, I'm not saying all of it's this simple, and I'm not saying every cause of our suffering has to do with just the four elements, but they're essential, okay? The word essential, look it up if you're having trouble, you know, with what that really means. So, um, honor them, and they will honor you, the elements, that is.